another field I might want to add here is an email address and also a website. Some of my friends might have websites, so I might want to check them out. On this drop down list here, I have got an option for a hyperlink. I'm going to choose that. By doing this, it will mean that in that field I can click on the email address and it will automatically create an email message. And the same for this website here. Again, I'm going to choose hyperlink and put that down there. So that's just part one of how you actually put the hyperlinks in and tell it that it is actually that one. Sorry, I missed. Let me just choose that one again. I'm going to hit save. Go to my view and scroll across here. I'm going to put an email address in here for Marvin. But to do that, I have to tell it that it's an email address. So I type in at the beginning, mail to the colon and Marvin at jargonbrainhelp.com. He has a website. Let's move that across. Let's make this column a little bit wider. And click and drag at the top there. And that is a good idea to put the whole thing in. Jargon free help.com. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to click here. Actually, let's just see this bigger so you can see the whole email address is in there. And let's just move that across so I can see the website too. If I now click on Marvin there, it automatically pops up, giving me an email message that I can send to. So that works fine. If I was to click on this one here, it's going to take me to the it's going to take me to the jargon free website. And there you are, jargon free health has popped up. And I'm now just going to switch back to access. So that is how you put hyperlinks into a table in Access 2003.